let's talk about some pharmacy. Let's talk about some new antibiotics. There was a 2017 approval of meropenem uh, vabor bactam. That's vabamir, right? Um, what, are the, what are the key findings from this study, which I think I know because it's written right here, Tango 2? Yeah, Tango 2 is a, a, an interesting study because it's the first real study that was trying to do a pathogen-directed study. So when you see new drugs come to market, if it's a gram-negative drug, it's going to be studied in UTI, it's going to be studied in intra-abdominal infections because that's where gram-negatives cause problems, right? But to Andy's point from earlier, as much as it pains me to say it, people want to see data in the actual infections that they're going to use the drug for. When you talk about a drug like meropenem baber bactam it's a hell of a CRE drug. It's a great KPC active agent from that standpoint. So people want to see how it fares in that situation. And so what they did was kind of a pragmatic study of patients who had either suspected or documented CRE infections and so as you can imagine that makes a mess of a clinical trial right there's a reason people do UTI studies and intra-abdominal infection studies because patients who have CRE and he listed all the risk factors for us you know there's a lot going on in that scenario so the numbers are very small and the comparator group was actually kind of practical where it was just the treating physician could say, what do I think the best antibiotics? If they don't get this new antibiotic, what's my favorite cocktail to give them anyway? Um, and so the numbers are very small, but even in that small cohort, you saw signs, you saw signals that it improved outcomes. You saw clinical cure go up 30, 35%. You saw suggestions of mortality decrease. And so it's a really cool type of trial, although it is extremely messy data to kind of sift through. But right. I think, I think this, the, the points about that about Tango 2 that are also important to realize are it is a remarkably sick population. Mm -hmm. The mortality rate in that study is actually relatively high compared to what you see historically in randomized, even non-blinded trials in this disease state or in this space because most clinical trials exclude the sickest of the sick. Right. Okay. And so this is fascinating because it's actually some real world pragmatic data that the, the antimicrobial is effective in sick people. And in fact, if I'm remembering it correctly, Tango 2 was terminated early because of right. benefit. And to my, again, to my re recollection, never has a data safety monitoring board in antibiotics stopped the trial early for benefit. Now, I think there is another trial that's uh, done looking in that kind of the same paradigm, the CARE study with plasmomycin. Yep. Uh, that's about 28 patients, I think. Uh, this is, a, you know, this is a, Tango 2 is a little bit bigger with a two to one randomization. Um, uh, but the point is, I think we're finally beginning to see data emerge where they're actually taking the, the drugs that are designed for specific pathogens and doing studies in populations and disease states that prove the drug doesn't kill anybody, the drug does what it's supposed to do, and then saying, but no one's gonna ever use this as empiric therapy in UTI, nor should they, and everybody would agree. So let's go and prove to the doctor that this is gonna work against the pathogen, in most cases in the blood, that we're worried about. 